hello and thank you for joining me for the new ingredient creation tutorial. There may be times when you can't find the exact ingredient or food that you need in the program, which means you'll have to add it to the database. And this tutorial is going to show you how to do that. Ingredient data can come from a wide variety of sources, an ingredient spec sheet, or you can sometimes find what you need online. But the most common is from a nutrition facts label. And so what I'm going to do is enter data from a nutrition facts label on a package of frozen strawberries for this example. With the program open, make sure the home ribbon is selected. Go to new and choose ingredient. The program is going to require a name for the ingredient and its quantity and measure before you can continue. You can also, if you want to add a common name here, which would be a simplified version of this name and other information. I'm going to call this frozen strawberries and enter 140 grams as my quantity since again, I'm entering this data from a nutrition facts panel and that's the serving size shown. Now on the nutrient screen, I'm going to enter any nutrient data that I have for this ingredient. At the very least, you want to enter your proximate, which are your calories, your fats, your carbs, and protein. So what I'm entering right now, 50 calories, zero grams fat, which means there's also no saturated fat, trans fat, or cholesterol. There are 15 grams of carbs, three grams of fiber, six grams of sugar, but there is no added sugar, and one gram of protein, and some vitamins. Notice when I enter the gram amount, the percent DV amount is automatically populated. The opposite is also true. If I enter a percent DV, then the gram amount will be automatically populated. The nutrients that I'm populating on this screen are those that I selected in the nutrients to view dialog. These happen to be the label nutrients plus vitamin C, but you can check this box to show all nutrient fields available in the program. Now you see this red dot here. This is the check data feature. The check data feature is important when entering nutrient data because it could indicate that something is off, which is what the red is showing. Maybe my values aren't adding up, or there's missing data. I don't know right now, but we do recommend that you review your data when this happens. However, in the interest of time, I'm not going to be doing that today. For more information, we have a tutorial on using the check data feature that can be found at the address shown on screen. I'm only going to briefly touch on the remainder of the screens here, but you can find tutorials that go more in depth at our learning center, which again, the address is on screen there. Okay, yields and measures. This is where I would enter a common or household measure for this ingredient. Let me give you an example. I know that 1.3 cups of strawberries is equal to 140 grams, so I'm going to go ahead and enter that. Now when I use this in a recipe or a meal plan, I can enter the more user-friendly measurement of 1.3 cups instead of 140 grams. It's a lot easier for me to measure at my home. Cost. This screen is where I would add costs. Any cost entered here for this ingredient will also be used to calculate costs for your recipes that use this ingredient. Groups are useful for future searches. In this example, I'm going to add my ingredient to the My Ingredients group. And then when I look for this later, I can search only in the My Ingredients group and find this one instead of other frozen strawberries. Notes. I can add notes about my ingredient here and then later print the notes with my ingredient report. Audits. This is where I would see any edits to this ingredient who made them and when. Attachments. I can attach any type of file to this ingredient like a picture or maybe a meal plan. So when you're done, click OK and then go up here and click Save. And now if you're curious, I can go back and look at the audits so I can see who saved this when. Your audit feature might be turned off. If this is the case, your IT person will be able to enable it for you. And now you'll be able to use this ingredient like you would any other. That's it. Thank you for watching.